OnGage is an email marketing platform for advanced email marketers who send high-end campaigns and want to understand their audience better. OnGage seamlessly integrates with top-tier SMTPs like Amazon SES, Mailgun, SparkPost, PowerMTA, SendGrid, and more. All you need is your API credentials to manage your entire email operation under the OnGage dashboard. You can also use the built-in Smart SMTP, making OnGage an end-to-end -end email marketing platform. OnGage offers its clients to manage multiple email lists under one account. This is ideal for brands that manage multiple web properties, sub-brands, or digital agencies with multiple clients. Each list acts as an independent silo with its own set of unique users, domains, and reporting. You can import your data and contacts into OnGage in two main ways. The first is via a manual import, done by uploading a CSV file. The other is by utilizing OnGage's flexible API and connecting it with your CRM. Once data has been imported into the system, you can start creating segments and group them based on list fields, system fields, and customer behavior in order to send highly targeted and relevant messaging. You can add up to 150 unique list fields per user per list. This means you can build micro segments according to your subscriber's location, interests, needs, and more. Here we create a segment comprised of subscribers who arrived via LinkedIn. Another way to segment with OnGage is by system fields, data collected automatically by the platform. Here we can create a new subscriber segment by targeting those who were created in the last seven days. One of the most interesting ways to segment is by using behavioral data based on sent, opened, clicked, and soft-bounced campaigns. You can create a dormant segment by targeting subscribers who didn't open any of your emails in the last 30 days. On the flip side, you can create a segment of highly engaged subscribers. These would be the ones who clicked more than five times on links in your campaigns in the last 30 days. After creating all kinds of segments, it's time to start sending out email campaigns. From the Campaign Overview screen, you can easily manage your scheduled, in-progress, and completed campaigns, filtered and sorted for your convenience. From this overview, you can start analyzing your campaigns by clicking on the Snapshot Report option. This will uncover key email metrics like open rate, bounce rate, complaint rate, and more. Now, let's create an email campaign. You can see the flow of campaign creation. We start with basic email settings, proceeding with the email design and configuration until we reach the final bit of scheduling. The first step is to name your email message. We'll go with My New Offer. On this screen, you can configure basic settings like your sender name, unsubscribe management, and URL parameters to track your emails. You can also use tags for future campaign analysis. Apply tags like Weekday, Weekend, and Holiday Specials to easily compare the performance of such campaigns. OnGage has seamless integration with the intuitive email builder, Be Free. This allows marketers with limited HTML and CSS knowledge to create inspiring and responsive email designs. Drag and drop blocks of text, images, buttons, and even social icons to easily create the email template you want. On top of this, there's the HTML editor. It allows you to import and edit your own HTML code. 
It also lets you upload templates already stored within your OnGage account. Then you can quickly edit any piece of code within that template. The WYSIWYG editor sits comfortably in the middle of both editors, allowing you to play around with the HTML code in a more friendly environment. With a click of a button, you can change text, links, images, and more. Subject lines can include dynamic fields that change based on each subscriber's list field. Using the first name is a common personalization tactic, but the sky is the limit. In the previous steps, we created an email message. Now it's time to use this message in an actual email campaign. We'll use our new template to create a brand new weekend campaign. But first, let's see what it actually looks like and if our SMTP relay is fit to send it. Sending a test can be done via any SMTP connected to your account and to any specific contacts, either by typing or by creating a predefined whitelist segment. Upon testing, you can also use the free Mail Tester integration. The tool will score your email on a scale of 1 to 10, telling you how likely is your email to reach the inbox. It will also warn of any blacklisting, missing authentication, and other potential deliverability issues. After you make sure everything is in order, pick the segments you'd like to include and exclude so your message will be sent for the right people. For our demo, we'll target our entire email list while excluding persistent soft bounces. You can then choose the SMTP relay from which to send this campaign. It can be single SMTP, or you can leverage OnGage's SMTP routing capabilities. This will allow you to distribute traffic between several IP connections within the same SMTP relay. It's time to review everything is in order and to schedule your email campaign. You can send it immediately or schedule it to a future date and time. Our throttling tool can help boost your deliverability metrics by spreading emails over a certain amount of hours or even days. You increase the chances of your emails landing in the inbox. Another feature that improves open rates is Send by Time Zone. Ideal for brands with a broad reach it makes sure your campaign is reaching the recipient at the time of your choosing, no matter where they are in the world. If 10 a.m. is the appropriate time for this email, it will be seen at 10 a.m. in New York, 10 a.m. in Los Angeles, 10 a.m. in London, and so on. To further optimize your messaging, OnGage offers a robust a b testing tool allowing you to split test your messaging with up to five different variants. You can test various email messages against each other, like our new offer, a real estate offer, and travel tips. Different subject lines can also be tested within a specific email message. If you don't want to conduct a full A-B test, it's possible to utilize the real-time A-B test. But be sure to keep in mind the statistical issues that can lead to skewed results. Allocate a certain percentage of traffic for each variation, and when a winner is decided after a certain amount of time, the rest of the recipients will receive the winning version. The criteria for winning can be set as either unique opens or unique clicks. Our Events and Triggers module is also known as Waterfall or Drip Campaigns. Let's begin by creating a new event. 
Any event needs to be kickstarted by something. It can be a date-based list field like the creation date or a specific campaign. We'll go with our weekend campaign. And by ticking ongoing event, we ensure it will keep on going for all new contacts that match our criteria. We'll target our entire list. And as you can see, events and triggers features the same campaign capabilities shown previously. Let's add an email trigger, a message that will be sent to subscribers matching the events rules. Our new offer will be sent to subscribers who received the weekend campaign but didn't open the email message three days after. We can also send a different email message to subscribers who clicked a certain link in our weekend campaign, helping personalization efforts. Of course, you can further retarget based on these email triggers. We'll move on to our Automation Rules module, which makes it easy to provide real-time journeys for real-life customers. When creating a new rule, you must first select what triggers it. There are a variety of triggers to choose from. Contact created or edited, contact deleted, a message opened, an email clicked upon, and more. We'll pick a contact that's been created slash edited. The source will be an API call, and we want the rule to be triggered always. Next, we choose the criteria for the rule. In our case, vegan people. The final part is picking the action we want. Sending a transactional message, a webhook to a specific endpoint, or updating a list field within OnGage. The Analytics module is where you'll slice and dice performance from various angles to improve key KPIs. In this screen, you can see a broad picture of your performance by various email metrics like open rate, click rate, complaint rate, bounce rate, and more. This view can be quickly altered by applying different filters of certain dates, specific SMTP relays, domains like Gmail and Yahoo, and message type, be it email or SMS. The aggregate view allows diving deeper into your metrics. First, you can view the performance of email metrics per campaign. You can see we have all kinds of past campaigns here, from our weekend campaign to a Black Friday one. This view can be easily edited, allowing you to focus on what matters to you. The report can then be exported as a CSV file for further analysis. But it doesn't stop there. You can view the same email metrics by other criteria like days, weeks, and months to observe trends in your performance. Further, analyzing metrics can be done per country, tags, links, email messages, subject lines, and even your sender address. By understanding better how your messages perform, you can then find out what your audience really wants and optimize deliverability. The Matrix Report gives a granular look into how specific connections and ISPs are affecting email metrics. When grouping domains by ESP, you can view key metrics of each connection that you're using to send email through. Clicking on one will reveal specific domain behavior. When grouping ESPs by the domain, you get a mirror picture, showing your overall performance for each domain. This is critical to further improve your deliverability.
The Contact Activity Report is a very powerful tool for understanding play-by-play -play behavior. You can take a look at a group of customers based on a variety of filters like text, numeric, date, segment, and campaign. Upon generating the report, you'll see the customers matching the criteria you set up. You can see email metrics like sent and open, grouped for each subscriber. When you choose to export the combined detailed report, you'll discover you have plenty of data on hand for each subscriber, allowing deep dive insights and perfect for pulling back data to CRMs for customer intelligence. The Custom Aggregate Report is easily one of our coolest tools when it comes to analytics. Here, we also start with filters that allow us to pinpoint what we're after. Text, numeric, date, segments, and campaigns. But it really gets interesting once you discover you can group your subscribers based on specific list fields. Think Excel's pivot table. In our example, we'll look at subscribers who received our welcome email and group them by state. You can now see how each state performs in key email metrics. How is Illinois doing compared to New Mexico? Which state has a higher open rate and a lower complaint rate? While this is a simple example, the sky's the limit. You can group subscribers by other list fields, like lead source and revenue. Then you can easily understand which lead source generates the most revenue, opens, and more, allowing you to better allocate your resources and optimize your operation. That's all from us at OnGage. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our demo and hope it helped you understand how OnGage can enhance your deliverability. If you want to learn more, drop an email to Amit from our team. See you soon.